And mind-body flow theory is a suggestion that this connection between mind and body is far more than just a bridge between two things. But in fact, mind-body flow theory suggests that what we call the body itself is the flow of the mind. In other words, that there are no two things called mind and body. We can appreciate them as two things. We can appreciate what we call the body as, for example, a shared experience, because this body can be seen by me and it can be seen by you, for example. But what we call mind can be private things like my thoughts versus someone else's thoughts. So that we can call mind and body we can call the shared experience. But that is simply a way of categorizing. And mind-body flow theory says that what we call mind is fundamental. That experience of something is fundamental. And the body itself is a kind of experience and therefore a kind of mind. Right? And the reason this is important is because this potentially gives us new levers to work with when we're talking about healing. And this puts a new light, it shines a new light on this idea that mind and body are much more than what we thought. And a new light on the idea even that our thoughts matter. So to understand this, we have to be able to distinguish between saying that it is just a matter of thinking that gets the body better. No, not at all. We're saying that from a broader perspective that both our thoughts and our body is a kind of mental experience. Now, is there evidence for this? Is there evidence that what we call mind is more than just the body? Is there evidence that what we call mind is not restricted to the body? Is there evidence that what we call mind is not simply created by the brain? The brain here being the representative of the body. Yes, there is evidence and there is strong philosophy behind it too and that's what we're going to look at now. Before we do that, I want to emphasize again, why is this important? Why could it be important that mind can be more than body or that mind itself can be representing itself as the body just as water represents itself as ice? Ice is not fundamentally different than water but ice is a particular pattern of water. And similarly, we are saying that the body is a particular pattern of the mind. 